And I think the idea is to recruit people with the same vision and the same mission. And it's not just about, oh man, you know, my clef is promoting himself. That's why with the social network, you can get up, put up your profile, put up what you're doing. And this Clef Zone TV has to become a real television station like TMZ. You should be walking through your hood. Anything you see, you should always have a camera. You're in California. Any celebrity you see, always catch whatever. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, what we're trying to do is we got to control our own content. You know what I mean? Because Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, all of that is definitely going to be out there. But at the end of the day, the, it's all about the people because they use you to build their social networks. And that's what they do with me. So my thing is I want to build up a network of millions of people around the world. It makes no sense if a Wyclef album is coming out you don't know about it. Like that's just great. Why don't you know about it? There's no marketing. It makes no sense if I'm coming to your city and there's a concert and a million people knows why Clef and tickets are coming. You know? That's a problem. It makes no sense if we say let's do a turkey drive around Thanksgiving that we don't have 30,000 people throughout California ready to get turned. You know what I mean? It makes no sense if something's going on in Iran and every everybody screen is not green. It just makes no sense that when they protest and they're walking by themselves and we're not walking with them. So the thing about it is it's one world, one heart, one unity. So I want to thank you first of all because you, you inspired you know, the, the realness of my work. Because, the, you know, to say it and then to see it manifest, I was real touched about when you went up and did the whole Clef Zone thing, you know, and, and you represented, you know, your rank to me in the sense of, you know, it's, it's you are, are an example of what I call a zone leader. And I, I'm just hoping that I can find, you know, I'll never find you, you're too unique. <laughs> and I'm hoping that I find somebody who's half as intelligent as you are in New York, so you can guide them, you know, in the same way with, with, uh, with North Carolina. But I want, I want everybody to know that it's, it's real, and all I'm doing is I'm just cutting the major commercialism of the consumer. I'm dealing directly. So it's like if, you're, if I'm coming to the House of Blues before Ticketmaster sells the tickets and the other crowd show up, that by the time y'all finding out about the tickets, that like there's no tickets, y'all should have already sold all the tickets. Right? So by the time they look and they're like, man, this is a fortunate record, what are we going to do? Because nine times out of ten, when they put the ticket on sale, the people with the credit cards and everybody else get the tickets. By the time you get to house of blues, you're like, yo, I'm here to see Clef. How come you ain't get your ticket? Because it's not promoted in your community because they only want a certain amount of group to show up. This is what I'm talking about. Putting all of the energy. But if they don't know how you would go, why is it super promoted? You see what I'm saying? Because there's a certain amount of money that they're looking for. So then why if it's the House of Blues, I can't have all sets in all different communities showing up? And why must we do everything at a stadium? Like why can't we do things outdoors like they used to do in the Woodstock era? This is where we're going to be on the floor. So as a warrior, we have a lot of social responsibility first. But think about this. This is what changing the world is about. So as y'all see, I respect everybody for showing up. We, I, I wasn't trying to DM too many people because I didn't want to make it crazy. I just wanted a small group. Graffiti. This dude is a warrior and a half when I tell you. Like, from the beginning, I told him about the movement. I spoke to him on the phone, and he has been holding it down, like, to the T. And everybody, we spoke, we spoke. You know, I feel like I'm connected with everybody. You know what I mean? So, so basically, I want y'all to know it's real. This is the zone leader for all of California. So, you know, we're going to give him a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you.